A new start and a new image for Austria. The world's youngest leader in waiting is reported to be in intensive behind the scenes negotiations with the hard right Freedom Party to form a coalition government. Political analysts say Sebastian Kurz cleverly exploited his country's fears about another immigration crisis. Migration is now the topic that all the politicians have, and all political parties have to address in order to be successful in electoral campaigns. Instead of the defaced posters you usually see in the aftermath of many elections, curses were plastered with stickers saying, thank you. I realize that a shift to the right is happening in Europe in general. And that is, I think, a development which means that people are more insecure, that our values aren't right anymore. Heinz Christian Strucker, who leads the Freedom Party, is expected to demand the foreign ministry as his price for giving Kurtz an absolute majority in Parliament. The international reaction to Kurtz's victory has been somewhat cautious and muted, no doubt, because the coalition talks are still going on. The German Chancellor Angela Merkel praised him for running a very modern campaign but knows the immigration crisis could be even harder to handle with Kurtz as her new neighbor. Today we have said, and I say this time and time again, we must solve the problems and we must look at what we have achieved and what we have not. The counting of postal votes has yet to be completed, so the official result of the election will not be announced until the end of this week. No major changes are expected, though. The far right is about to enter the government for the first time in 17 years if the coalition talks are successful. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Vienna.